How you doing, Facebook fans? Mel Bernstein here, Dragon Man, and uh, I'm going to show you guys real fast how to relocate a cam hole on a Harley Davidson case. Okay, over the years I made these different fixtures. See that? This is for the 1970 to 99 uh, Harley Davidson motor cases. And uh, after the hole is all welded up, uh, I'll show you what you guys do. This is a Miller machine, Supermax, and uh, this is a dial indicator. And what you do is you lower your dial indicator, see, on the cam cover uh, that I took out the bushing so we could locate the hole, and you turn this around until uh, the needle doesn't move and stays on zero. And then what you do, if you have digital readout, you zero out the table, and then you lock it. See, you push the locks down so the table can't move, and this shows if it did move, it would show a number. See, like that top one. Okay? <clears throat> then what you do is uh, you take the cam cover off and you go down with an end mill to flatten the surface where the uh, welding is. Okay, next, I had special cut end mills. See the flutes on there? There's uh, six flutes. These are all uh, end mill sharpened and uh, they ground to whatever measurement I tell the uh, tool maker. Okay, the cam bearing, this is the Harley Davidson cam bearing and this is a veneer caliber. See I'm measuring it, it's one inch uh, sixty thousandths. See that? Now these end mills I had ground under one inch sixty thousandths. Eight to ten thousand smaller. Yeah, see that? See there's the measurement. So that gives it like a seven to eight thousandths interference press fit. Any tool grinder that sharpens end mills could make any measurement you want on a custom end mill. Okay, and then what we do is we just take this out, put your uh, end mill in there with the right uh, flute, and uh, go straight down and countersink the hole. If it's a uh, pan head or a knuckle head, this is the cam cover I made for it. See, this here will find the middle of the hole where the cam cover hole uh, should go and then you take the uh, cam cover off and you go straight down it'll be uh, 90 degrees perpendicular to the uh, the case okay over here see this little hole that's to relocate find the middle of the breather hole if you have to resleeve the breather hole you dial indicate off of that hole see these two holes that's for the idler gear and circuit breaker studs if I have to weld up those holes and relocate them so all these kind of fixtures really make the job go a lot faster. See, we just take this off, put the end mill in there, go straight down, and you've got a hole. Okay, if there's any questions, give me a call. Hope you guys understood everything. 719-683-2200 if you need any of this kind of work done. Thanks a lot for watching.